In March 2017, Gloucester City Homes secured funding of £1.25 million from the government's newly established Estates Regeneration Strategy Fund to create a master plan for the regeneration of the Matson and Podsmead estates. GCH is working in partnership with the City and County Councils and other organisations to develop a draft master plan and supplementary planning document to progressively regenerate these neighbourhoods. The plans shown today are illustrative only, suggesting specific zones of redesign to provide improved street design to create more active, better connected routes, new, better insulated modern housing, improved road layouts, walkways and cycleways, high quality public realm and green space improvements, new community centres, hubs with a better range of facilities. It is important that you take part in the current informal consultation process because it is a real opportunity to shape your neighbourhood. This is the stage at which your views can have the biggest impact on what goes into the SPD for your neighbourhood. Matson, Consultation 1 Reminder. This board gives a summary of the key information presented at the first consultation event in November 2017. The key positive influences identified at Matson are Matson is located next to Painswick Road, a key route into the city and adjacent areas. Matson Avenue is a key road that connects most of the neighbourhood. A variety of commercial and community facilities are present in Matson. The neighbourhood has shops that are well located in the centre. Matson is next to Robinswood Hill Country Park with attractive views and a range of outdoor activities. Matson Park is of good quality, centrally located and provides one of the two play areas. There are some footpaths and roads to Painswick Road and to the wider area for access and connectivity. The key negative influences identified at Matson are parts of the estate, particularly in the north and south, appear cut off from direct links to Matson Avenue, particularly where there are cul-de-sacs or dead ends. Links between Matson Avenue to Painswick Road are minimal and, except for Matson Lane and Norbury Avenue, are indirect, poorly surfaced and not well overlooked. Neither Matson Park or Rob nor Robinswood Hill Country Park entrances are obvious, open or well overlooked. Several of the green spaces are not very well designed and are without play facilities or seating. Community facilities are located throughout the estate but are not located next to each other and the local centre is dated and of low quality. Several opportunities have therefore been proposed that could support regeneration at Matson to make the neighbourhood a better place to be. These include to promote accessibility and movement into Matson by improving connections between Painswick Road and Matson Avenue and Matson Avenue and Matson Lane. Improve the entrances to Matson Park and Robinswood Hill Country Park as well as enhancing their connections to the centre of Matson. Improve the connections between pockets of housing in the north and south to Matson Avenue. Redesign the central area to provide enhanced commercial and community facilities to improve identity, ownership and activity of the area. For example, providing an improved centre for the whole of Matson and the proposed housing development at Winniecroft. Use architectural and landscaping design to clearly express the different character areas across Matson. Improve useful public open spaces along Matson Avenue that include equipped play and seating areas. Provide additional well-designed new housing in the areas where there is an excess of open space and where existing buildings are in a poor state and in need of replacement. So to summarise, the key principles that have been identified for the master planning process for Matson are 1. Promoting connectivity using legible routes and development east-west between Matson Park, Matson Avenue and Painswick Road. 2. Anchoring the north and south residential areas into the neighbourhood. 3. Providing useful open spaces that are a range of public, communal and private spaces that support permeability and movement and activity in the neighbourhood. Identifying 
development opportunities to enhance housing options and commercial and community facilities. Matson Overview. This board shows an overview of Matson Estate as it is today, alongside a possible new master plan. All of the opportunities and key principles that have just been summarised and which were discussed at the community consultation in November have been used to help shape this possible master plan. The areas that have been proposed for change or regeneration have been chosen for the following reasons. One, the majority of buildings and homes within the areas are in need of replacement. Two, Gloucester City Homes own the majority of these homes and land and therefore have more ability to make change here. Three, change on these areas contributes towards a significant neighbourhood improvement to help make Matson a better place. All existing homes are shown in grey, where new houses could be located are shown in light blue and where new flats could be shown are in dark blue. The key changes are as follows. The general layout of Matson is maintained, with Matson Avenue as the central primary route through the neighbourhood. This possible master plan looks to reinforce Matson Avenue as the central route by identifying sites along it to redevelop where housing is in need of replacement. The new buildings would help to create different character areas, gradually building up to a denser and more active central area for shops and community facilities. This means the existing shops would be improved. Any new buildings proposed are a mix of houses and flats, with more blocks of flats in the central Matson area and along Matson Avenue. The blocks of flats heights are proposed to range from four to five storeys. This possible master plan is designed to connect the new Winniecroft development into the Matson neighbourhood with primary neighbourhood street beginning at Matson Avenue and then turning south to extend into the Winniecroft site. Several open spaces and parks along Matson Avenue are identified for improvement so that, the, so that there is a series of interesting, attractive and active green spaces on the journey along Matson Avenue. These are all designed to be well overlooked by neighbouring homes and therefore safe and secure. The landscape design also aims to improve the presence of Matson Park on Matson Avenue and retain significant mature trees, especially the Matson Oaks. Three new key roads are proposed to help make an easier connection between Painswick Road and Matson Avenue. The first is a new road so that Garnells Road is extended east to meet Painswick Road and west to meet Underhill Road. This would provide a direct link between Painswick and Matson Avenue and would also directly lead onto one of the improved central entrances to Matson Park. The second is a new green footpath and cycle link between Painswick and Redwell Road going through the new shopping and community centre. This includes road network improvements around the flats located on Hill Hay Road. The third is a new road between Matson Avenue and Winniecroft Lane connecting to the new roads in the Winniecroft development. The focus boards will illustrate these in more detail. Between this estate and Podsmead, the aim is to provide over 750 additional new homes. These numbers will become more clearly established as the design changes and develops going forward. In terms of public open space, the existing amount of open space in Matson is 13.5 hectares. Except for Matson Park, this is generally of low quality with few areas of play equipment, planting, accessibility and biodiversity. The amount of open space in the possible new master plan is reduced to 11.2 hectares, but the areas of open space in this proposal would be of high quality and well designed to provide uses and activities for all members of the community. Currently this master plan provides approximately 1.5 parking spaces per household of off-street parking, which is a good increase in the existing parking ratio at present. The next boards focus in on the north, centre and south of Matson to help you better understand the possible layout in these areas. Matson North. The key ideas for changes here are opening up Whiteway Road to Penhill Road to make a clearer road network, providing several new homes along these streets and replacing the block of flats on the corner of Penhill Road and Norbury Avenue. 
These will front onto the green space on Penhill Road, which would benefit from improvements such as seating, play equipment and attractive planting. The flats on the west side of Matson Avenue could be replaced with a mixture of well-designed new flats and houses. Moving south, new homes could be located on the open space where there is currently a play area. This play equipment would be relocated further south. The flats on the corner of Matson Lane and Matson Avenue could also be replaced with new, better insulated flats. Matson Northern Centre. The existing park on the southwest side of Matson Avenue and Matson Lane could be maintained and improved. Moving south, existing blocks of flats could be replaced with new flats along Matson Avenue. The doctor's surgery site and the library site could also accommodate new homes if the library and healthcare facilities were relocated in the improved central Matson Avenue with a new community hub and facility. Just before the Link Children's Centre, Underhill Road could be connected to Garnells Road and then on to Painswick Road. This makes a better connection into Matson and also enables a direct pedestrian cycle link to Matson Park. Matson Centre. The central Matson Avenue could be reconfigured to make more attractive streets and a mix of housing and flats facing onto it to provide active and well overlooked roads, i.e. designing out the potential for antisocial behaviour. An improved central area could accommodate all of the existing community facilities, shops and healthcare in one area so it is easy to access them together and the community could all come to one central space for these uses. A direct and open, high-quality footpath and bike link could connect Matson Park through the central area and east to Painswick Road. This means that it would be easy to get into, through and out of this area, encouraging neighbouring residents from Abbeydale to come and use the area too. Some new homes could be located on the open space next to Haycroft Drive. This would still keep some green space which could be improved and enhanced. These new homes could be designed sensitively to reduce potential impacts and disturbance to the neighbouring homes on Haycroft Drive, as well as Oakcroft, Ashcroft and Barleycroft Close. Matson South. The main ideas for improving the south of the neighbourhood are all about working with the development proposed for the Winniecroft site and connecting it with Matson by replacing the existing poor quality blocks of flats along Winniecroft Lane. The new road that would connect between Winniecroft Lane and Matson Avenue makes it easier for residents here to get to the central Matson Avenue and bus service. New homes could also be located on part of the open space south of Sneedham's Road. These would be designed to fit in with the existing homes north of Sneedham's Road and retaining views from and to the adjacent open spaces to keep the more rural character here.